Jitu Joseph is at it again. Most of us who've seen Drishyam years ago haven't forgotten it. Haven't forgotten Mohanlal. And later, we saw the likes of two other national award winning actors reappraise the role Kamal Hassan and Ajay Devgan in Tamil and Hindi, respectively. In an earlier review of its Telugu version, I raved about the performance of Venkatesh and said that while it is hard to replicate Mohan Lal, Venkatesh nearly succeeds. How do we go about looking at Drishyam 2? Firstly, tick as many boxes as you can. Que Drishyam 1 because Drishyam 2 is as absorbing, as entertaining, as engrossing and as awesome as the first version is. V2 is generally seen as a come down from V1. We saw it in Doom, we see it in uh, Bunty or Bubbly and most other films. Therefore, it's amazing when G2 Joseph not only maintains but ups his antenna and gives you a film which is perfectly watchable. Yes, the premise is known. Yes, the grammar is established so it becomes a tad repetitive. But having said this, they also sometimes become the challenge to the filmmaker. And it is this challenge that G2 Joseph overcomes with class and elan. To the uninitiated, I mean, the story is about a middle class family where the little girl holiday goes terribly, terribly wrong when the son of a top police official gets sexually disoriented and begins to force himself on her. This leads to the killing of the police official's son and the trauma that the family undergoes as the suspects of the child who is missing and how the protagonist ensures that the family is saved. Six years later, Ram Babu, played by Vinkatesh, his wife, Jyoti, played by Meena, both extend from the first. Their two daughters, Anu and Anju, played by Esten Anil and Kriti, Kritika, are back in the story. So is Nadia in that brilliant role as Geeta, the top ranking police official who's lost her son. And as her husband, you have Prabhakar Naresh. It's not the characters that were there last time that are going to push the story. There are other characters that are going to come in and push the story. Let's see who are the characters that come into the story. We have two neighbors in a woman who suffers domestic violence. Sarita, played by Suju Varuni, and her husband Sanjay, who is always indulging in drunken beating of his wife, played by Satyam Rajesh. You have a new IG of police, as usual, brilliant performance from Sampatraj. From the police angle, we have Sampatraj as the IG of police, and the investigating officer this time is Inspector Pratap, played by Vinay Varma. And then you have a new character who comes very early in the film, and you come to know his importance as the story goes by later. Janardhan, played by Shafi. How and why are these new characters brought in? It's not difficult to understand why uh, you have uh, Sampath uh, why we have Sampath Raj and Vinay Varma coming in because your uh, investigating officers will have to be new people. 
Why do the other characters come into the story? Do they have a role or are they props in the story? I am not going to spoil the fun. Watch it and take it from me that all three of them have something to connect and to push the narrative further. It goes on as interestingly as any viewer of a whodunit would want it to be. I will again tell you, apart from Jitu Joseph, watch Drishyam to see how Sampatraj is such a good actor who knows how to take his role both physically and emotionally. His body language and his emotive quotient are so perfect that you crave to see more of this actor. And then you have Venkatesh. I know people who know me, maybe will summarily say that, oh, this is because Ravi is a Venkatesh fan, but more than this. Watch. There is this complexity that he takes up as an amazing challenge of a person who carries his humor, but behind the facade of a man who takes light lightly is a man who is going through the trauma and the challenge of having to keep that buried secret. And how well he does it. How well he manages his emotive moments. And how well he takes his lighter ones. Tells you that Venkatesh is a class act. I notice very paradoxically that he is only... One actor of the four I have named, Kamla Hassan, Ajay Devgan, Mohan Lal and Venkatesh, who have done Drishyam, who is not a national award winner. Sometimes it happens that you are so good that people think you are the character and you are not a role. And this is counterproductive in a world that sees you only as a role and not as a great actor. Venkatesh, it's an amazing performance. As a great actor, I'm sure he knows that awards are but a bonus. But here is a performance worth talking. Here is a performance worth sitting back and appreciating. Drishyam's three main takeaways. The content of the film, Sampat and Jitu Joseph, not to mention, of course, Venkatesh. What you don't take away is a very, very, very average performance from Meena. She very theatrically emotive and you are slightly disappointed that Nadia doesn't push to level next. But then you don't blame Nadia for it because the role has nothing more to offer. It does not even offer what little it offers Nourish. At least Nourish gets a part of the sympathy, but there's nothing for Nadia in the film. Go for Drishyam too. Go for Drishyam too with the same interest because this is a film that promises you as much as the first delivered. Goodbye, and before that, a typical and a mandatory acknowledgement of Datu. And Abhinav for roles performed for reaching out this to all of you. Good day. Have fun. Have fun watching Drishyam too.